Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the situation where you have, an, you have a dual boot machine. Uh, in our case, it will be Windows 7 and CentOS 6.4. And you would currently be running the Linux CentOS 6.4 operating system. And you want to use Windows 7, so you want to boot your machine up in Windows 7. How would you do this? Where our solution will be, uh, we're going to, and we're going to demonstrate, how to boot from the Linux operating system that uses a Grub2 bootloader menu into another installed operating system. And in our case, it will be Windows 7. And we'll do this by making some adjustments to the grub.comp file. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a terminal window. I'll do a right click in the blue screen and click open terminal. Now, <coughs> excuse me, you, if you're SSH'd in, uh, you can do this from SSH. I'm actually logged in using uh, No Machine NX into a, and this machine I'm on is currently running Free NX. Uh, there are some videos under Mr. Linux info on YouTube that will uh, give information on how to set up the NX uh, configuration. Everything we're doing here can uh, also be done through uh, an SSH uh, connection. Uh, if you use some of the GUI stuff, you're going to have to use uh, the X uh, Windows tunneling with SSH. Okay, let me make this screen a little bit, or this, uh, terminal window a little bit better, bigger so it's easier to see. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to switch user over to root. I happen to have the root password. And uh, because I'm doing this remotely, switching over to root is going to make my X come back with my uh, NX configuration. So then I'm going to go ahead and log in by typing my password. And now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm currently logged in as root on this machine. Then I'm going to do a change directory to slash uh, boot slash grub. Graphical Unix bootloader is what grub stands for. And then I'll type gedit. Normally, normally I would use uh, bi, but gedit may be easier for the demonstration and for some folks to follow. And then I'm going to edit the file called grub.comp. And that's going to bring a file up here. And um, it's kind of tiny print. I hope you can see it. Uh, <coughs> First, let's notice that there's two title lines. And the title lines refer to the menu entries on the uh, grub menu that comes up when the machine boots up and the first title line is CentOS 6.4 and the second title line in our case is Windows 7. The first title line, the title lines are numbered starting from 0 so the first title line is 0 the second title line has a number of 1 if there were more operating systems it would continue 2, 3, 4. In our case we only have 0 and one. Right now the default is set to zero. And so what we want to do is we want to come up and reset the default to one. And then we're going to uh, save this. Okay. And now we have saved this file and the default is now one. We'll quit. Now, if we come in here and we type reboot, or you can, or you could type uh, init six. That's the same thing as reboot. Uh, the machine will then go in the process of rebooting, and our machine's going to go down. And it broke my NX connection. And I'm actually going to pause the video for a minute while the machine reboots, and then I will return once the machine has finished. 
Okay, we've given uh, we've given given this the uh, machine a few minutes to reboot. Now let's take a look and see if we can uh, log into the Windows side of the machine. Uh, now this is a remote machine, and we just rebooted uh, the machine remotely uh, in Linux. And now when the machine machine comes back up, it should be running. Uh, Microsoft Windows 7. So we're going to do this by using uh, in Linux we call it the R desktop command and this is the same as the remote desktop that you would find on your Windows operating system and we're going to go in again to the machine OS flip and we'll hit enter and let me drag the results of that over into the recording window and I'll click on other user and I'll go in with my Mr. Linux info ID and let's go ahead and see if that works and it logs in and that's all it takes if you're running Linux uh, CentOS 6.4 and you have a dual boot operating system with Windows. Uh, that's all it takes. You go into that grub.com file, uh, modify the default line so that you're booting the correct uh, title line, and you'll be able to remotely run the other system. Okay, thanks a lot, and appreciate the time. Hope it helps.